The modern man is schizophrenic. He sits around all day and stares at models he sees on social media and in porn. Literal pixels on a screen, just a sequence of red, green, and blue lights created by some fat, middle-aged, greasy man projects into his mind to create some kind of fantasy that isn't really there. He sees attractive girls, but they aren't really there. And as soon as his internet starts buffering, he's forced to go back to reality. And when we poison our mind with all this dopamine and lustful content, reality is often disappointing. Man becomes disappointed in himself. But what really makes man depressed is not only imagining life with these e-girls inside his head, but when he starts doing it with women he knows. Consciously or subconsciously, say you like a girl, you've known her for a little while, and suddenly you find you can't stop thinking about her. You start listening to all these trad love songs and recalling romantic moments from your favorite movies. You're texting more, you're hanging out more, everything's going great. And then it ends. She starts getting more distant. Maybe you start getting more distant. Whatever it was, it's gone. But maybe it wasn't even there in the first place. Maybe you don't miss her, you miss the idea of her. Meaning all the girls you like, you simply just like the idea you have of them in your mind. They're not real, or at least the version of them you fell in love with. Oh, but I love her. I don't want any girl. I just want her. Okay, buddy. Remember that in a month or so when you get over her and then get heartbroken by a new girl. The fact of the matter is, is that you have to accept that maybe you have a false perception of these girls. Now, yes, it may be due to them and what they put out or what society has us believe about relationships and dating, but it starts with you. For several years, I've sought after the idea of having a teenage relationship. But recently, when I went to camp, when I went out in nature and had fellowship with complete friends and strangers, complete strangers and friends, I realized I had to let go of that, let go of what I want, and give it up to God. If you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, you will save it. To gain something, you must give it up. But you can't use that as some roundabout way to get what you want in the end. You can't reverse psychology God. You have to truly give it up. Which is very difficult in our culture because many men watch videos from like Sneeko, Hamza, Tate, and they think, oh, if I just ignore girls, that'll make me more attractive. When in reality, what you're saying is, oh, I'll just forget about girls for right now so I can eventually get a girl. But you have to truly, really, actually give it up to God sacrifice it. I mean, if you're a teenager, why do you even want a relationship? Is it sex? Is it loneliness? Is it validation? Is it playing the field and getting experience? Is it because everyone... Is it because everyone else has one? Is it because that girl's the prettiest girl in the world and there's no one like her? What are your reasons? Are these the right reasons? The reason should be glorifying God. After all, the whole grounds for marriage and relationships came from the Bible. Even if you're not Christian, you have to acknowledge that what we as a society view of marriage, maybe not anymore, but it originally came from the Bible. Why do you think people get married in churches, married by pastors? Why do people think rape is bad? The Bible. Why do people think adultery is bad? The Bible. Why do people think monogamy? Poly, polyamory, polyog, poly. I mean, love literally comes from God. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. So if your idea of love doesn't follow what he says love is, then you're in the wrong. And having a relationship with this false sense of love, that's unfair. Unfair to God, unfair to these women. If you're a woman watching this, it's unfair to these men. It's unfair to yourself. Now, is it wrong to want a wife and kids and create a secure traditional family structure? No, absolutely not. I want one. The Bible says that's a good thing. And you be fruitful and multiply, increase greatly on the earth and multiply in it. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. But as men, we have to be okay if we don't get those things in the end. We can't let our future wants jeopardize the present needs. Don't let yourself get distracted from the mission. About like and focused on and tied up in obsession over women that you have never met. 
whether that be OnlyFans, whether that be pornography, whether that be Instagram models, whether it be online influencers, whether that be, you know, some crush from high school, when your desire is taken off the prize, off the goal, and it's kind of like sidelined with all these other things, then you're neutralizing your strength, you're neutralizing your power, you're neutralizing your movement. And so what do we do? Well, we stop fueling the fantasy. We stop fueling these uh, fantasies that cannot be fulfilled, that are not going to be fulfilled. We stop obsessing about women that we've never met. We realize that they're using us, that they're stealing our most powerful tool, our desire, that God has given us to take dominion over our life and over the things around us, over creation. So maybe you're not in love, you're in lust. God says you can't trust your own heart. So when you do find the one, how do you know if you're actually in love with her and not just lustful? I don't know. Bro, I'm 16. Just know that if God does or does not have a wife in his plans for you, then there's literally nothing you can do to change that. So just accept it. God will never let what you've lost be the best you've ever had. And remember, gentlemen, if any woman shows even the slightest amount of interest in you, she's probably a fed. They don't care what works. They want to have control. Pornography's free. Cause you pay with your soul. I don't want you to notice. What's going on all around? They make you feel special You don't need to feel special Yeah, you're a creep You're a skitto Why the hell is that website there? You don't belong there You don't belong there